question. Been best friends forever, well, since we were 10. Met at ballet class, and ever since then, we became inseparable. The damage was irreparable. Jen's like my sister, and Sarah's like mine. Friends till the end of the line. Had nothing much in common, loved horses, loved shoes, but we were attached at the hip. Jen was like a goddess, my mentor and muse. She was a nerd and a drip. But we would be together every hour of the day. People would see us and say, Is Jenny and Sarah two peas in a pod? Well, if one pea was perfect and one pea was odd, first string and spare on the volleyball squad. Happy and gregarious, my thrills were just vicarious. Um, woo. She'd point the spotlight, she'd bask in the shine. Friends till the end of the line. My skin was just like porcelain, hers was all zip. My pores were perpetually blocked. I developed early. She had no tits. My cupboard was woefully stocked. Why would I be seen with such a social refugee? She always looked good next to me. That's right. So we were Jenny and Sarah, a vulgar display. The queen of the prom and her weird protege. I star. I ran white in the school cabaret. I mean, have you heard Sarah sing? Good golly, it's embarrassing. Ah! Uh, we were contrary forces who somehow combined. Friends till the end of the line. Then something crazy happened right after 12th grade. That summer I blossomed and bloomed. I stepped into the sunlight after years in the shade. And a beautiful swan was exhumed. Meanwhile, I was working at the local Dairy Queen and ballooned up to plus size 16. Uh, Jenny. 18. Oh, it's just so delicious. We both showed up at college and no need to pretend I was popular right off the bat And everyone was asking Sarah, who is your friend? The one who's so interesting? Fat All this malice aimed at Jenny was quite startling and new So I did what all best friends would do I said I'm Sarah She's Jenny. We used to be close. Now she's desperate and clingy and sort of morose. I heard she gobbles peanut buster parties by the gross. In all the world, is there a sight more tragic than this parasite? So that is our story, and ain't it divine? 